The cathode building is 27.4% done, and it's as big as a Barnes & Noble. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Yes, really. Inclusive of the extensive site prep needed on which to construct a factory, this tiny-ish megastructure is already a quarter done. I'll keep this one quick because we've got quarterly production numbers to crunch and there's a lot of work left to go. So let's start by taking a look at the site map and go through it as we always do a week of a week and roll it back to the beginning and get that out of the way early to provide perspective. The orange indicates where footing work has begun for reference and the squares labeled with an F indicate a poured or presumably unneeded footing. They don't count until they're labeled. So there it is, and there you go. I wanted to start with this, so there's context for this week's update. This is already out of date, but Joe Techmeyer has fantastic footage, check him out, and this was shot Monday morning, offering the best perspective to keep us at roughly weekly intervals. The footings had already reached nearly to the northernmost edge, and these should be complete by the next update. We've started counting some of the in-between areas as complete, despite a lack of concrete, since many of these squares will not be getting heavy footings, instead just using longer spans of steel. Anywhere the steel is up, the foundation is considered complete, and I've marked off some of the gaps along the eastern side. While the footing total only shows as 55% done, it's likely closer to 80 to 90%, but we'll know more as the few short weeks remaining continue to unfold. The steelwork is moving at breaknut speed, as we've come to expect in the everything's bigger in state of Texas. And while this represents a big jump from the previous week, significantly more was done by the time Brad Sloan flew later the same day, check him out too, and yet significantly more by the following day when Jeff Roberts flew, check him out three. It's impossible to bullseye a moving target like this, so it's important to focus on specific moments in time to form a series of snapshots to view over time rather than just a blur. The big weekly gains will continue, and we know this because the week is still progressing and we can already see it happening. The newest addition to the tracker this week is the floor count. With a maximum footprint of 86,700 square feet, 8,000 square meters, we've already got 10% of the first floor framed up for 8,670 square feet, about 800 square meters, with that much again on the second floor, and about half as much again on the third floor for a total of 21,386 square feet, 2,000 square meters. That means the total floor space framed up is already about the size of an average Barnes & Noble. This place, as small as it is in comparison, is gonna be a bulky boy. But you know what they say, everything's bigger in Tesla. Joe Techmeyer still believes the objective is to get all the walls up by the end of July and that they're on pace to do so, which would allow for the building to enter some degree of production around the end of this year. Based on my revised timeline of 20 weeks from walls to completion of the interior, that would actually work. And all of that will, of course, be tracked as well. So that's it. A 4.1% increase in the overall site total from last week, with an even bigger jump likely to follow next week. Do you think they can move that quickly? Will this building begin producing cathodes before the battery building in Berlin begins producing 4680s at volume? Videos like this take a lot of time to produce. If you find value in what you see, consider offering your support on Patreon, where you'll get early access, exclusive content, and a lot more. YouTube is the devil, though less so than they were previously. Long story, your support is literally what makes me able to keep going, and I thank you all for your decision to support the channel, and for the rest of you guys, maybe subscribe, hit the thumbs up, follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast. You know the deal. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your thoughts in them comments below, your wisdom, your blind and brilliance, all of it. And stay tuned, stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots in the big Independence Day coming up, I don't know, maybe the live stream to cover the quarterly results. 
You know, the place wherever it is that I will see you.